Your dog's been itching. Looks like it's fleas. This is a new natural remedy you should try. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. I spent a lot of time looking up new remedies, in particular looking for common questions you guys are asking, like, Doc, is there something else I can try for fleas? Sure, you got these conventional topical insecticides. I mean, this one, it kills fleas and ticks for up to 30 days. Hmm. But what is it exactly doing to your dog or your cat? Is it more likely that your dog or your cat is going to get sick, right? Or they're more likely they're going to get autoimmune disease, things like cancer? Possibly, and you know, it's kind of something I suspect. Meaning it's a great idea to start looking at some of the alternatives and kind of, you know, saving those conventional treatments for when, you know, you really, really need them. Not just when there's like, you know, there's a flea or two, like, ah, oh, oh no. So this guy here, it's called neem oil. It's native to Asia. Neem has been widely studied and documented to be a proven natural pesticide. When you look at some of the specific veterinary sites that have actually documented neem oil, generally it's considered safe when it's used topically and applied at a 2% or less dilution. The concern with cats is that they're going to groom themselves, ingest it orally, and then there's the risk of toxicity. Because of this, I can't recommend it for use in cats. So I'm searching for a specific neem spray recipe, something that I could use for fleas for dogs. So many of these sites, they reference, you know, 1% or dilution or less. Okay, that makes sense. But what they're suggesting is one part neem, 10 parts of a carrier oil. And no, I'm not like a math whiz, but I'm pretty sure if you take one part of something and 10 parts of something else, that would mean it would be 10% neem. It's not 1%. So you can go ahead, you can maybe make their suggested flea spray neem recipe you're not going to have a 1% neem spray that's going to be a 10% spray. So maybe you don't want to put all your credibility in those sites. So let's just do some math and let's look at someone who's actually studied neem oil, what they've found. So I read this one super interesting paper. The paper is called The Field Studies on the Mosquito Repellent Action of Neem Oil. So what they did is they took neem, 100% neem, pressed from the neem tree seeds, and they took this oil, coconut oil, known to be a great carrier oil, some wonderful anti-inflammatory properties, also some likely flea repellent, mosquito repellent properties. They use 98% this, 2% this, making a 2% dilution. And they found that there is greater than 50% efficacy of this neem coconut oil con concoction repelling mosquitoes. Holy cow. To start with, we've got our handy daddy little spray bottle here. Number two, I have my funnel. Next, I have my coconut oil. This is the carrier oil. It's gonna give our adequate dilution. We're gonna be using two tablespoons, which equates to 30 mils. I've warmed up the coconut oil because it was at room temperature and it was still in a concentrated form. So there's our two tablespoons or 30 mils of coconut oil. Next, our neem oil. I've warmed it up as well too because it was in a firm state or solid state because it's also this oil that gets thick when it's cooler out. We're gonna be using 0.5 of a mil. Squirt this into our coconut oil spray bottle concoctor and we're now ready to shake it up and try it out, Pippi. Let's try our spray bottle out, see if it works. And at last, it does. I missed you, Pipster, so you're lightly misted. I would then use a flea comb, you know, spread it evenly throughout your dog's fur. You know, being careful to stay away from her mouth, from her eyes. As far as an ongoing basis, I'm inclined to spray my dog twice a week. You know, if I'm dealing with a severe flea infestation, I'm like, they're just not going away, then I'd be doing it daily. Apparently it works for mosquitoes too, and they seem to really like me. So, I'm gonna be testing this out tonight. Our natural mosquito repellent. I'll let you guys know how it works on me. And it, you know, neem doesn't smell great, but the coconut oil does, so it's got a nice, like, okay, not nice, but an okay smell about it. 
but it feels really nice in your skin. I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Thanks for watching. I'm hoping this neem coconut oil spray is proving to be effective. Please give me your feedback. It's Dr. Jones.